Now, there's this ancient Jewish teaching. It's called the Kabbalah. And in the Kabbalah, really, which just means the teachings of the Jews, they reveal that the Jewish people had a belief that a person's spirit hovered over their body for three days after their death. And while their spirit hovered over their body, their spirit would go back and forth, back and forth from their grave to their home to do two things, so that they could observe the mourning of their family members and so they could receive the peace that was required for them to go to the afterlife. At the end of the third day, their spirit would then permanently move on into the afterlife. Now, let's read that verse again. On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb four days. So Jesus waits two days, and then he misses the expiration mark by one day. Now, Bethany was less than two miles from Jerusalem, and many Jews had come to Martha and Mary to comfort them in the loss of their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went out to meet him, but Mary stayed home. Lord, Martha said to Jesus, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. But I know that even now, God will give you whatever you ask. Even now, even when, even after four days, even after his spirit has moved on permanently. Like, why would he wait? If Jesus already knew that he was going to bring Lazarus back, why all the dramatics? It wasn't for his glory. It wasn't for his attention. We know that because the only thing that Jesus does is consistently is healing people was telling the very people who he healed not to tell anybody that he did it. Jesus was never looking for glory. He was never looking for attention. But if he wasn't looking for attention, why would he wait for four days? He didn't even have to come, y'all. Could have stood where he was and said, get up. And homeboy would have got up. But he waits for two days in a place that he wasn't supposed to be, killing time to get the place that he needed to be. What, like, here in John 11, to discover what's really, really happening in this story, we have to go past the surface. We have to get three-dimensional. We have got to live between the lines. Keep watching.